I have three questions for you. Why does sky appear blue? Why do stars twinkle? Why sun appearing red during sunrise and sunset? Do you know the answers of all these questions? Let us find out. These are the topics will be covered during the session. Atmospheric refraction, scattering of light, Tyndall effect, the color of the sky, color of the sky at sunrise and sunset. We know that the stars are very distant. This is the real position of the star. What happens? The refractive index of the atmosphere gradually increases towards the surface of the earth because the hot air above is less dense than the cool air below. So light gradually bends towards the normal. So the real position of a star is different from its apparent position. So atmospheric refraction is due to the gradual change in the refractive index of the atmosphere. The twinkling of stars are due to the atmospheric refraction of starlight. Since the stars are very distant, they are considered as point sources of light. As the path of light ray coming from the sun goes on varying slightly, the apparent position of the star fluctuates and the amount of starlight entering the eye flickers. Therefore, the star sometimes appear brighter and some other times fainter, which is the twinkling effect. So the tingling of a star is due to atmospheric refraction of starlight. Next, we learn about advanced sunrise and delayed sunset. Do you know? The sun is visible to us two minutes before the actual sunrise and two minutes after the sunset because it is due to atmospheric refraction. The time difference between actual sunset and the apparent sunset is about two minutes. Next, we learn about scattering of light Scattering of light is the phenomenon in which light rays get deviated from its straight line path on striking an obstacle like dust, water vapors, gas molecules, etc. Scattering of light gives rise to many spectacular phenomena such as Tyndall effect, sun appearing red during sunrise and sunset, etc. So let us learn one by one. What is Tyndall effect? When a beam of light passes through a colloidal solution, the path of light becomes visible due to the scattering of light by colloid particles. This effect is known as Tyndall effect. Tyndall effect can also be observed when sunlight passes through a canopy of a dense forest. Here, the water droplets in the mist scatter light rays. We know that the Earth's atmosphere consists of dust particles, gas molecules, water vapors, etc. When a beam of light passes through the atmosphere, the path of the light becomes visible due to the scattering of light by these particles. The color of the scattered light depends upon the size of the scattering particles. Very fine particles scatter blue light, larger particles scatter various colors of light. Next question is, why is the color of the clear sky blue? Do you know the answer? As we have already mentioned earlier, the fine particle or 
smaller particle in the atmosphere have size smaller than the wavelength of visible light. They can scatter blue light, which has a shorter wavelength than red light, which has a longer wavelength. The red light have wavelength about 1.8 times greater than the blue light. That means when sunlight passes through the atmosphere, the fine particle or smaller particle in the atmosphere scatter the blue color more strongly than the red color. And that is why the sky appears blue in color. You might have observed that the danger signals are red in color. Do you know why? Because the red is least scattered by smoke or fog. Therefore, it can be seen in the same color at a distance. If Earth had no atmosphere, there would not be any scattering of light and the sky would appear dark. The sky appears dark at very high altitudes. Next is color of the sky at sunrise and sunset. At noon, light from the sun overhead would travel relatively shorter distance. So the sun appears white as only a little of violet and blue colors are scattered. Near the horizon, most of the blue light and shorter wavelengths are scattered by the particle. Therefore, the light travels through the thicker layers of the atmosphere and longer distance through the atmosphere. That means all the blue lights are scattered away. Therefore, the sun appears reddish in color. What do you have learned? The twinkling of a star is due to the atmospheric refraction of starlight. When sunlight passes through the atmosphere, the path of the light becomes visible due to the scattering of light by these particles. Scattering of light causes the blue color of sky and the reddening of the sun at sunrise and sunset. Thank you.